Welcome back to another episode of Let's Play Inter in FM20 and today we have another huge episode coming up because we are playing a cup final, it's a super cup of final and we are playing it versus Juve and I mean you know the history with Juve in this, uh, this uh, series, they are basically the final boss in the league and now we are playing them in a cup final, it's huge. But since last episode, we played two games. Uh, we demolished Parma at home with hat-tricks from both Haaland and Esposito. And then we beat um, Ascoli in uh, the Coppa Italian. This was actually surprisingly even. I mean, we dominated things, but we were struggling to score. Yes, we had a very early goal by Esposito, but uh, it was Martinez missed the penalty. And yeah, uh, we definitely should have won this one bigger. I mean, we were up against a, a, a team from the lower leagues, uh, the division below us. But still, look at this long green streak. It's fantastic. But today, it all can come to an end because this is an extremely difficult game. But, I mean, a cup final versus Juve. What, what can we do other than sit back, relax and enjoy? Um, the transfer window is still open and we have actually secured new signings. But I'm not going to mention it today. We're going to save it until, I would guess next episode will be at the end of the transfer window, probably, or maybe after it's closed. So we're going to take a look at the, the new signings by then. And we also got a huge, huge bid for one of our play, players. But yeah, I'm going to save both of these things to the next episode. And um, just to, to uh, don't make any spoilers, we're going to skip showing uh, the teams so you don't see anything you're not supposed to see. Um, but um, we're going to see the starting lineups here. And you know what, uh, Juve, they have Ronaldo, they have uh, Aguero. I mean, hoo, 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 that attack, they have uh, Iguain on the bench. So much quality. And of course, our team, you saw it uh, quickly, but you can see it again here. Good stuff going on. Um, yeah, um, this cup, to be honest, it doesn't matter. But that's one side of the coin, because when you flip it, it's a cup final versus you where we're desperate to win it. So it's a cup title that doesn't matter much, but it's a cup title that we are desperate to win right now when we are here. Well, we see the first highlight, it starts with you where you were with the possession, it's Danilo on the right flank, and it goes straight through, and what's up with our defense? It's crap yet always, but luckily for us, we have Handanovic with a fantastic save. But we're going to see a corner here from that save. Clear by Haaland, Asensio picks it up, and he just does nothing. And last time we played Juve, we were playing a bit more defense-minded formation with a defensive midfielder. We're not doing it here today. We're here to attack is Martinez, it's Lazaro. Lazaro with a cross to nothing. This goes in the wrong direction, but Bronswich will pick this one up. The three. Trying to change flank. Lazaro, Barea. Barea has actually signed a new contract. He's now one of our most expensive players. I think he's the third best played. I would have preferred to uh, don't pay him that much. But his contract was expiring in one, one and a half year. And um, his agent hates me, and, and I'm not saying that's like, just like a thing. And of course, I say that the Licht score and uh, Juve are in the driving seat. But yeah, it literally said that his agent hates me. And uh, we had a contract negotiation, and it broke down. And then we had, I think, a second one, and it broke down too. But then in the, during the third one, we finally got some sort of a deal. So let's see how much it is here. So we managed to get it to 190k a week. They wanted like 250k or something insane. I was hoping to get it down to like 160, 170, but with his uh, agent hating me, I, I wanted to ask him to sack his agent, but uh, that option wasn't available. And um, I I'm at least happy that he's going to be with us for a long time. Uh, but instead, we see Juve with a free kick in a good position. And. Um, I'm not happy right now. I'm not smiling at all. Look at the replay here. So first we see it bounces off the wall. And of course that's a sensational goal. But it's also very, very frustrating. Maybe we should have been using that. I mean, look at statistics. It's really, really close. It's extremely close. It's just like one chance in between the teams. 
But once again, we see a highlight to start with Juve possession. And that's a, no trouble at all for Handanovic. Now the question is, was that the highlight? Will the real highlight start now? Hopefully we can do something here. It's by Rea. Rea goes straight through for Haaland. And here is... No! No! Haaland! He bounced off the, uh, the post. Yeah, look at the statistics. It's really, really close. And, he, and he hit the post. It doesn't even count as a, a shot, I believe. I'm not sure. Yeah. And uh, highlight of the highlight, we see Skrinar, Lazaro, Lazaro, Lazaro with uh, bounces all the way for Bronsovic and hit the, the second time this game we hit the woodwork. They scored twice, we hit the woodwork twice. The Martins are s What? What? What the heck? What happened? Ah. Uh... Things just got very, very, very difficult for us. Because that was a straight up red card for Haaland. This is so... How do we do this? First off, we're going to go aggressive. Not because of the Haaland thing, but because of the rest of the garbage that's going to be going on. Then Haaland, we need to speak to you. Start. I'm going to go aggressive. Because you... It wasn't even like an endangered situation or anything. We're probably going to have to go to goals two strikers soon, but just going to give this a few minutes see how it feels. Because we kind of didn't even get to see it. But ooh, this just made things so much harder. Here is Skrinar. Lazaro. Everything starts with Skrinar Lazaro. We're not using the left side here today, at least not in the highlight. Here's Barea. Bronsovic. Bronsovic gives it away for no reason. It wasn't under any pressure and it wasn't remotely close to reach anybody at all. Very disappointing. A beautiful intercepted here by Tellus. And here is Tellus for Martinez. Martinez into the box. But this one goes on. It's been a long highlight and it's not over. Licht and Danilo pass this around. No, I thought we were going to intervene it instead. Cristiano Ronaldo. And Bruno Fernandes, and that's probably game, set, match. And it seems like our long, long winning streak has finally come to an end. Ten men desperately fighting versus Juven. I mean, look at the statistics. They were so lucky up until that red card, because we created as many chances as they did. If something happens ASAP from the kickoff, who's going to have any, any chance? This needs to be a very good highlight for us. This needs to be an extremely good highlight. That gives us a goal. Oh, not. Oh, maybe we're just going to give one away. Because here is Cristiano Ronaldo, Andanovic, Grinar. Let's pause this one. Okay, we have nothing to lose. It's a cup final. It doesn't matter what happens here. So, who have been the most garbage of all the garbage players? He's most tired. I think like kind of these three. So, Bronsovic, where are you? You are. Okay, they're all together. 6 4. 6-8 from Barea, so he's by far the best, but he's also the most tired one. And then Sens is 6-5. Both these guys have yellow cards. But I think we have to focus on fitness levels. Or maybe... Maybe not. This, actually, I want to keep Bronsovic on. He um, has been a positive uh, thingy for us. And we're going to bring in uh, <coughs> going to bring in Lukaku. This is his comeback. He's been out with an injury, so we're going to bring in uh, Lukaku as a target man. Martinez will go uh, on the attack as always. I mean, we are we are gambling right now. We have, we have kind of nothing to lose here. Um, then he's going to. You know, I don't. I'm not that fond of that. Screen, so probably soon going to make uh, more subs, demand more. Need something here. We might as well go very. We're going very attacking with ten plays on the pitch. You know that this will come back and bite us very hard. But look at the statistics. Like this result doesn't match it at all. Not at all. So we uh, have some subs left. Quite. I mean, this is. Are we going to sub somebody that's fit? Garbage, but everybody, I mean, everybody's fit, but garbage. Ah, uh, this, this isn't great for us. 
Let's bring in. We could bring in Riccardi and Tonali. We are we're doing everything we can here, and uh, Tonali as focusing a little bit more on uh, on defense. So we made all the subs very early. Need to pray to the Eagles, so nothing happens. But here's a throw in. Teles for Lukaku. Lukaku with a cross, and here is Martinez. But is it enough, or is it too late? We have, with the extra time, about 20 minutes to score three goals, because two is not enough. But you, I'll take two for now. I'll take two for now. But I mean, we are playing a crazy. We're 10 men on the pitch. We are. I mean, we don't need to see this one again. Come on, lads. Get creative. Something. It was something. Clock takes on. And now look at the statistics. It's so close. And then we see a Juve highlight here. Can we make it our highlight? I would love for us to make it our highlight. But. Uh oh. Okay, guys. I mean, it, it was kind of a little bit too easy for us playing with, with, with 10 men. So we're going to try this with. Um, with um, nine men instead. We, uh, who, who doesn't like a, a decent challenge? I mean, I, I do, don't you guys? Who doesn't like a decent challenge? So we need to score two goals in uh, 15 minutes versus Juve with nine men on the pitch. Challenge accepted. And of course, we see you with an highlight, and it's over. I mean, we are playing crazy attacking with nine men on the pitch. It's got to come back and bite. It's four minutes of extra time. Clock just ticks on and on and on. And uh, we, I think this is the first cup cup final we ever lost in this series. But I mean, we didn't make it easy for us. We uh, certainly not um, didn't make it easy for us. I'm gonna go aggressive and I'm going to tell them maybe like that and then <laughs> disappointed you getting sent off disappointed you getting sent off well I guess that's it for this episode we got destroyed by Juve we um, collected a few red cards we lost a cup final at least from here hopefully <laughs> the only direction we can go is up because it can't get much worse than this but as always uh, thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one